So it's that time of year again where rumors start to fly in every single direction. And now we're going to talk about AMD's big Navi or their supposed GPU that's going to compete with NVIDIA's high end like the 2080 Ti. Some recent leaks or you can call them rumors have just come out saying that it's going to have 80 compute units, 5,120 shader processors, 2,048 gigabytes of the new SK Helix RAM. I don't know what any of this means, so let's try to make some sense of it. Hey guys, Tiago with Classical Technology here. Thank you for joining me for another video. If you like my content, subscribe, smash that like button, leave a comment below. Are you looking forward to the new AMD Big Navi GPUs? All right guys, so it's that time of year again. Before any big GPU announcement that's a few months away, we start to get these little tidbits of information. A lot of times they actually prove to be pretty accurate. Sometimes they're completely off. Um, but anyway, it's fun for us to speculate because there's nothing else going on in the GPU space aside from that, you know, Cyberpunk 2077 um, GPU that NVIDIA is sort of giving away. That's still a 2080 Ti, so nothing new there. And of course, we're waiting for NVIDIA's 3000 series, like the 3080 Ti, um, which we're hoping that the performance is going to continue to be substantial. And hopefully these prices come down a little bit because the last 20 series generation definitely bumped them up more than we're comfortable. But let's focus here on the AMD big Navi GPUs. So some of these specs are floating around on the internet now, like the 80 compute units, 5,120, you know, shader processors. Just to really simplify what everything means, it just means it's going to be substantially more powerful than last generation of whatever AMD has. And it's going to definitely be comparable and more powerful than some of Nvidia stuff right now. Now, one cap that I always tell people everybody's excited for big Navi to come and give Nvidia competition like they did with Intel and some people have correctly pointed out that the AMD versus Intel competition isn't exactly like AMD versus Nvidia just because Intel was really sleeping for a while even though Intel still has a mass part of certain markets that's not the desktop CPU Nvidia really hasn't been sleeping quite as badly as Intel was. Um, they've been pretty innovative in their products the last few years. They've been definitely bringing some great GPUs to the table. Some new technologies, as controversial as ray tracing may be, it's definitely a good technology for the future. It just has to have all of its little kinks ironed out, and that hasn't been done yet, but it's definitely improving. So having said that, everybody's excited to see AMD go up against NVIDIA, meaning fast GPUs like a 2080 Ti at a cheaper price. This is where we get excited about the possible 5950 XT or whatever AMD decides to call Big Navi. Who knows, they may change the naming a little bit. They may bump it up to like the 6000 series. Who knows exactly what the naming is gonna be, but a few things we do know for sure. They are gonna release a high-end GPU. Even their CEO has talked about it, saying that they really need to be in that marketplace. They have a lot of the market covered and that's the only thing they're missing right now. Another thing that we know, it's definitely gonna be a high-performing GPU, and while we don't know the price yet, we can sort of assume that they're going to have to come in and compete at lower than the 2080 Ti because there's no point in coming higher unless the performance was substantially more, which we don't really believe it is at this point. But even if the performance is on par or just slightly better than the 2080 Ti, it better come in a little bit cheaper because, let's be honest, AMD, while they've really dominated the processor space, they've had a little bit more trouble breaking into the GPU. GPU space. Now, while I do have a 5700 XT, I haven't had many issues with it. It's generally worked fine for me. I have seen reports of a lot of people having driver issues with AMD. I guess it may depend on whatever specific game you're playing on. Like I said, I haven't had any specific issues, but I have read of, you know, blackout screens and different issues. And it has been historically true that AMD has had a little bit more driver issues with their GPUs as compared to Nvidia. So they're really going to have to get their 
game together, especially a high-end GPU, they're really going to have to make sure that their drivers are properly optimized and that they reduce a lot of these problems before they start because there's no point in having a high-performing, cheaper GPU than something like a 2080 or 2080 Ti, but it consistently crashes or can't play your games. It doesn't have the support behind it that NVIDIA would have. So that's going to be one of the main points that AMD is going to have to back up their hardware with. It's one thing to get the best hardware and slap it together on a GPU and sell it for a cheaper price. It's something completely different to be able to optimize the product and make sure that everything works really, really well. I'd rather have a slower GPU rather than a faster one with a lot of problems because then that's just going to be a more of a considerable headache. Now, AMD went through this with the first generation Threadripper and even some of the Ryzen processors when they came out. They did have motherboard and driver issues, but over time they were able to fix those and they learned with each new launch, they learned how to optimize drivers and make sure that the hardware was talking with the software and everything was well optimized. And now you could say that a lot of people depend on Threadripper or Ryzen for their workstations or important work because it's considered a stable format. Now the AMD GPUs, while they're not terribly unstable by any means, like I said, I have a 5700 XT, haven't had any issues really that I've seen, but that is out there and there have been issues reported more so than some more recent Nvidia cards. So it's something they're going to have to keep in mind whenever they release this new top tier GPU. But now in the information game, in terms of AMD's big Navi, all of these little details come out just sort of color a possible theoretical idea of what the GPU can be. We we'll just want to restate that there's nothing really too solid here yet. A lot of these leaks are sort of connected with the memory that's going to be available on this GPU from SK Hynix, 24 gigabytes per second, um, which is, you know, pretty impressive. But we don't really know anything for sure. We don't know what the pricing is going to be. We don't know if this is going to go towards a workstation GPU or if they have other gaming GPUs in mind. So it's all pretty early. But some of the numbers we are seeing are definitely impressive. And knowing that AMD knows that they have to come in at competitive price points and having that little sort of Robin Hood idea of AMD coming in to save the day for consumers, fast GPUs, cheap prices like they did with Intel is something that we all have in the back of our minds that can happen. And really you can't blame people for thinking that because it kind of is true. Competition breeds better products at cheaper prices. So while we don't have exact information yet on this AMD Big Navi, it does seem that some of the rumor or the leaks have been coming out with greater frequency meaning that something's going to be popping up on the horizon soon. Now it's the end of February and there are going to be a few important events coming up in the next few months. So I would say definitely sometime before the end of the year, we're going to see new GPUs, not only from AMD, but also from Nvidia. And that's what we also have to remember. Nvidia is going to counter whatever AMD has. So they're not going to just stick with their 2080 Ti or even their Titan cards that they have now. By the time AMD actually launches something that's better than a 2080 Ti, Nvidia has the 3080 Ti waiting. Now that's where it can get pretty interesting. If the 3080 Ti performs really well, but is priced out of the hands of many gamers, but the AMD version of you know whatever it is that beats a 2080 Ti still performs really well and is priced really attractively, they could sell a lot more than those than of a more expensive card. So we're gonna see what happens there. And that's just something we're gonna have to wait because even with rumors of specs, we don't know how these things are actually gonna react in the market because a lot of things come into play like bad drivers or even some pricing issues or optimizations that don't quite come to fruition. So there's a lot to go, but I think it's pretty exciting because we're going to have a very great 2020 in the GPU space. There are so many awesome things coming. So we'll keep talking about it as stuff comes out. Um, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.